Hello everyone, Salty the Hyena here. I've been away from this game for close to six months. Coming back, I'm gonna do a few bot build showcases on builds I find genuinely exciting. The first one uh, I got from my friend Lex Predator. The, he's an excellent, excellent pilot. And it's the Ultralight MAO. He first uh, pitched this bot as a counter to the Tormcore, and it works really well at that, at that. It's an ultralight, so I run five orange armors on it. I don't bother with resistance. I want as much HP as I can get, because this baby has almost none. Seven and a half thousand hit points. That's not much. That's... Well... Uh, two clips from basic T1 manglers. I run two uh, sprint accelerator and a single accelerator to get it up to uh, both decent agility and um, some decent speed. Only the fastest light bots are faster than this one of the lights, and they're being effectively suppressed by Tormcorm, so don't worry too much about them. The really, really interesting thing about this build is that it's a full stealth build. It has a radar signature of 62.5%. And what that means is that a, a stock medium or a light bot can't, uh, it needs to be closer than 310 meters to be able to target it. Reterpets, that number is 434. Of course, if they're using radar, radar ability, uh, that's a different story, but most people aren't. Well, hammers, I'm uh, running magazine, automation, and reinforced ammunition to pack a punch, have a decent amount of ammo, but unload as fast as possible. So, let's see this baby in action. Um, I was lucky enough to find uh, two versus two match for this recording. Um, and check out that speed, guys. Fast is fun in this game, at least in my opinion. And this baby, when spitting, is fast. I have a friendly mite up on my left. I'm gonna try and follow him and back him up. But uh, being a stealth build, uh, I obviously can't close in on other bots because then they'll target me and then I'll die. Uh, this build is especially weak to the stupid AI who will <laughs> wander around aimlessly and target you. <laughs> Which is, uh, well, yeah, uh, not very good. So you have to use your situational awareness and try and stay out of targeting range from your enemy. I'm pausing here quickly to grab that spawn before I run up and uh, behind this wall. I'm gonna try and uh, back up my mate in a mite. As you can see. Uh, there's uh, probably a turpit up on the monument, and there's the other player as well. Their AI is luckily nowhere around. I waited with firing my javelin until I could unload on him, not to give away the fact that I was running around behind the wall. And uh, XOEN up there, he has no possibility of targeting me, because you uh, have to because I'm out of his radar range. And uh, as long as you keep that in mind, like now, now he can target me, so I stay hidden. I have no... Uh, yeah, I could probably run from his missiles, but there, now he's out of my range. And I'm gonna pop out and start firing. So if you, if you assume that most turpences will have radar, because uh, I think they do. And uh, so you will always uh, want to hide from Turpitzes. And uh, you can think that the other bots rarely have radar. 
if they have, you'll find out. Uh, but yeah, 350 meters is a decent rule of thumb. Uh, the exact number is 310, but maybe, you know, there's a little bit of lag, or just to be on the safe side, don't take the number that your targeting system is telling you for granted. Like, he's blindly firing, I suppose. Uh, they managed to hit me. Or maybe he has smacked on a bit of radar on that uh, MAO. I don't think so, because he won't uh, target me now. And there, the torpid, no, uh, sorry, the Nelly is in range. I still can, like, I can't really do this more than once or twice during a match, because I have absolutely no HP. Like, my chest is red already, and I haven't really brought, I barely skirmished. So, uh, I have to retreat, and that's the thing you have to do. You have to retreat a lot, and, oh, well, make sure that you stop when you are 350 meters. So, like now, I'm just waiting for them to pop their head up so I can fire on them. I can't close in because up close they will kill me immediately. And these are one of the drawbacks of this build, but you, you, you have to play to your strengths in whatever Titan you're playing. Um, it's not really a camping bot either, because you have to be proactive. You, you have to... You, you're like a brawler that want to stay at 350 meters, <laughs> if that makes sense. You see, uh, my stupid AI is going to wander in and get killed. So I... yeah gonna have to back him up and he'll spot the red ones for me so well, it's not a total loss maybe they'll be stupid enough to show up so I can in, in that gap so I can fire at them uh, but at least I can javelin and I don't know where the other red one is but uh, the XOEN is far enough for me to go to this opening now without risking immediate death because that's really what being caught in a brawl is for this build. Uh, like 7,500 HP uh, in, in the tower. And not a lot of HP in the core. That's like two clips from the light manglers. So he's in range. I have to retreat. But yeah, my chest is gone already. I've been in two of those light skirmishes. He's been pinging me from... Away, I think I uh, far away. I, I think I've taken taken some javelins as well. Uh, not being, I didn't want to be caught uh, like on the edge of their spawn, so I'm taking the opportunity to run this way. Uh, yeah, like I, I've also lost track of my teammate like a long time ago. And suddenly. You can see um, white sneaking up on me, but uh, you shouldn't do that in a light. You should never charge someone uh, that's out in the open. Because th that's how you defend against lights in this ultra light hammer MAO. You just retreat and cycle your fire and shoot them. Playing to my strengths again. Sadly, I had tunnel vision, <laughs> forgot that the red AI could target me, and I died. Um, thank you for watching, guys. It's good to be back to this game. Please like and subscribe. I'm Salty the Hyena. See you next time.